We have. But she's been out of the house for three weeks. It seems like that should be working. Yeah, it looks like it's working, but I left like an inch. Uh, when I went to work, when I came back, it was gone. Well, no, that thing ain't gonna be, uh, you know, it's not a ball valve as long as it... It's gonna leak out a little bit. It's just a, it's just a metal plunger that goes down in there. You know, as long as it's not leaking a lot, that's, that's the best you're gonna get. Now, you watch the water right here, you know. That ain't leaking. That's fine. You know, if that was leaking, you'd see that go right down. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I think if, maybe if there's more pressure. No, ain't nothing to do with it. That's fine. I could take it apart and lube it up. It might have been that it was just... Uh, maybe, I mean, it's just something that got flagged on the home inspection. Because I, I have the house. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I don't know who your home inspector is, but there's nothing wrong with that. Hang on, I don't want to put too much. Just oh. enough. Just enough. And just, you know, we'll be able to see if it leaks by. It is leaking. It's draining now. Yeah. It does drain up to a point, looks like. It's not 100% sure. It's just a, bla a brass plunger that drops down in there. Yeah. That's all it is. You know, I could take it apart and put some lube in there. But you know, you could see it's it, it's staying right there. She's not, you know, you're gonna you're gonna lose a little bit by it. it ain't never gonna be a hundred percent. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? But I could take it apart and put some lube in there, and that'll help it. Okay. Is it but it's it? not a ball valve. Is it worth it? Huh? Is it worth taking it apart? Yeah, it's two minutes. It's just okay. two screws. I okay. take it apart and put okay. some lube in there for you. But there's nothing wrong with look, that. Look, it might have been that it was sticking, you know, before he came. Do that and then put it to your. Uh... I know you post some of the stuff. I do post some stuff, but I do record all my work. Especially on something like this when there's an issue. <clears throat> when there's an issue, you know, and you're out complaining about you want something on writing. Yeah, shit, yeah, I'm going to record my work. I mean, I want to write so huh? the buyers see it. It's not because I don't believe you, it's so that the buyers see it. Well, it's not, it's not the point, guy. The point is I need to cover my ass, you know? You ever hear that? You ever hear that statement? Believe I'm sure. Me, Cover me. your ass. Yeah. So this way here I'm covered. You know, if it's not right, you can see it's not right. Yeah, yeah I post some stuff on YouTube. I remember one time, uh, a couple of years ago, I, was, I think I was trying to find your phone number. And I uh, Googled, Googled your name and came across some of your YouTube videos. You know I was a big YouTube star? <laughs> <laughs> No, so I'm just going to loop that up a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like. That's all it is right there. See, it's just a, it's a metal, it's a brass plunger. Right. So that drops down in there. That's never going to be 100%. It's never going to be 100%. That yeah. drops down in there, and then that's, uh, you know, we'll do what we got to do. Okay. And this thing, I could have could adjust it. I could adjust right, it up. Not, I could yeah. adjust it up a little bit. Based looking at what the plunger looks like, that was probably. That was probably I'll put a little lube on there, okay? Yeah. And uh, the way that thing was, we could we could have brought it up a little bit because the thing was the thing was uh, kind of down a little, so we'll bring it up, we'll bring it up a little bit, and it'll give me a little bit more throw. Actually, what I was concerned about there was just I hadn't, we hadn't, hadn't used the whirlpool in like uh, all the jets and shit. Ten years. Yeah. So the day before the home inspection, I filled it up with water and I was like, is this thing going to start? Kick right on. The funny thing, it's... it's almost, yeah, you know, most people don't use them, so... It's almost like, it's almost like a trick to start because you, you know what the button is? You probably know. Yeah, right over here. No. You tap that. Tap what? The name tag. Oh, then you got to tap the name tag. You just tap that and that's what kicks it on. But the water has to be at least an inch above the, the arm. Oh yeah, they're all a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll just put a little bit of plumber's grease on there and yeah. that'll help that to go down, up and down. Yeah. And like I said, it's not 100%, you know? No, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, and if it gets some soap scum in there, sometimes you got to jiggle it around back and forth to make it yeah. work good. But that's it. That's the best you can do. Yeah, sorry to hear about your wife, but man, good thing you, you good thing you took her in, huh? Oh, 
Yeah, don't mess around. If it was me, I'd go to Boston too, you know? Oh, she, well, she's good. She, she sees, you know, specialists, she sees a bunch of them. Even on an outpatient patient, patient, she sees a bunch of them. I adjust, I adjusted that so this will have more of a glide to it now. You know, it will have, have more of a throw. Yeah. You know, did before. yeah, she went in and her vitals were normal. And a couple hours. The blood pressure started dropping. How long did it go? But, um, Dangerously low that they immediately broke her from. She was already she was already in a room. What like fifties or something? A twenty or forties blood I, pressure? I don't remember the numbers. I know the uh, stuff started causing. Doctors came in. They she was already in a room in the ER and they moved her to the what they call acute area and uh, started hooking her up and giving her giving her some medications to counteract. But uh, but she had the, the the reaction caused a. Um, Rash on the body. Her skin was um, so irritated. The moisture she was losing, they equated to having burns over eighty percent of your body. The, the the way her skin was. So that was the medicine she was reacting to. Yeah, yeah. See, so now they're gonna have to have that on her on her oh, yeah. chart, and you oh, can't yeah. take this certain medicine. Yeah. Has she ever had an issue before? No, no, not with that one. I'm not even sure she had ever taken it before. It's see, so you never know. You take some of this medicine, and this could, could be an issue. Dogs. See this right here. See how this thing is flat? It's going by itself, and it's not staying up. It's no good. See it? Yeah. I gotta change that. See how that's that's wimpy? Yeah. That should stay like that, and it's not. See it? How it's going? Yep. That gotta be changed. See it? Well, let me get a new one, a new, a new plate, because that that's not right there. Maybe that's what he was complaining about. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's probably what he was complaining about. So, so what is it that needs to be changed? I gotta change this plate here. It should be able to go like that and I should stay down, but it's not. See how it's going up by itself? Yeah. See it? Yeah. Okay. See how it's going up by itself? Yeah, okay, but so it's, but it's That's just... what he's complaining about. He you know, you're 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 telling me one thing and I'm seeing something different. Well it's the way the way it was written up. Yeah. Let me change actually, let me change the plate. Now that you mentioned that one, I do remember that's been like that for a while. Well, I can just change the plane. It's no big deal. These pots got that taken care of already. Oh, yeah, it was rotten out on the side. The clapboards. Clapboards. Got, yeah, that shit don't. How old was the house? 24. Yeah, so she's um she's at the, her age where she's, things are going to start letting go at 25 years is pretty much the magic number, right? I mean, I've already put a new roof. Yeah, I'm saying that's about what the what the lifespan is for the most stuff is 25 years. The boiler, furnace, roof, all that yeah. stuff, you know. If you get more than that out of it, you're lucky. But for those, the most part. Those durable uh, boilers, they don't last more than that. Oh, that's a lifespan of a boiler, it's 25 years. That's what they recommend it's going to run. You know, sometimes you get 30, 35 out of them if you get lucky, but, you know, if you get 25 out of it, it's, 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 it's time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the estimated um, lifespan of, of an old boiler. It's not a bad time to sell, right? No, it's not a bad time, so. That's, that's right. Hello, can I help you? Hello, can I help you? Yes, that's me. Yeah? Okay. probably do something Monday. Today's actually a holiday, so. Yeah, I got your number here on the phone. I'll give you a call. Uh, I'll give you a call Monday. You'll be around?
or would you consider the afternoon? After one, you don't trust your husband. All right, so I'll I'll call after one. Disconnect the dishwasher and uh, yeah, you know, because it, today is a holiday, you know. All right, I got your number on my phone here. I'll, I'll plug in information, and it's uh, the Sheldon Street. What was the number on there? What was the number? No, what's what's the address, man, on Sheldon's? All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll call you. I'll call you Monday. Okay. See, it's a lot better now. See it? Take a look. Yeah, yeah. No, no. That's how it should be. Before it was going up by itself, because the other yeah. one was no, no. And what you mentioned, that. I do remember. I, you know, I don't use it much, but I had I had noticed when I jiggled it that. So you were probably you were probably reading Portuguese on there instead of English. Well, I'll, I'll look. When we go down, I'll look it up. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up too. Cause you no, know uh, what they said, what what the guy actually wrote. That's what needed to be done. Yeah. So check it, but no. I'm thinking that's gonna be great. I, 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 well, I'm, I'm sure. Smaller than I wanted, but it, but location wise, it's where I want it to be. Near 24 and 24. Yeah, right, right off the highway. You gotta let it settle, and then we could we could watch and see if it goes down. I did a little bit. I said, you know, it's not a positive thing. You're gonna lose it. You fill the tub up, you know, and you lose, you lose. Uh, so you you fill this tub up and you lose two cups while you're taking a flipping bath. You got you got you got uh, you know 60, 60 gallons here. You know what I'm saying? More than sixty. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah you got what? This is an eighty, isn't it? An eighty gallon? I think so. Yeah, because you need an eighty gallon. But you know, she's fine. So Perfect. we put the new plate, and that's as good as that one's gonna get. Yep. So you're gonna tap that over there for it to come on. Yeah. That little plate. Yes. That's a weird one. It is. Usually it's a button over right. here somewhere. Good thing I good, push. good thing I exercised it the night before because the realtor's calling me and I, and I was up there. I said, "Look, I was telling." Oh, me, you told him what how to do I, it. I was telling her you gotta have the water an inch above the armrest. Right. It doesn't go on until it's a, a, an inch above the armrest for right. some reason the pressure and then you just tap it. So you have to have it that full for it yes. to come on. Yes. Oh, an inch above there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's good. We're happy with that. Yeah. Okay.